Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. I'm TJ. I'm Bob. I'm Andrus. I'm Chad. And uh, today we get to check out the FT Simple Cub, uh, formerly quoted as the Tubby Cubby in a previous vlog. And uh, we get the opportunity to fly together because this plane yep. is all about building simple, flying simple, but having tons of fun. You want to put them in here? Let's go for Let's it. Let's go. <laughs> Already. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry! Sorry, Bob! Oh, you gotta build Bob a new plane. Oh it's my god, it'll fly. Now we got oh. two clip wing cubs. Fly that anyway. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was so funny. This is so cool. There's five of these in the air at one time. Dude, we're like happy friends of the sky. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All right, so a little bit of history about Why this. This is not really an original idea. There's a couple of really iconic planes that we just love, and I want to give them honor right now. Um, the Park Zone Super Cub LP, which I think is a staple for thousands of people to get in the hobby, was a phenomenal Super Cub. Uh, also, there's a plane that you know really well, Andres, and that's yeah. the uh, Blue Baby. The Blue Baby. It was, it was a design that was featured on RC groups, and that's actually one of my dad's favorite planes. So It's incredible. Now, both of them are a little bit more parts intensive. Yeah. Uh, one's obviously you can't scratch build. The other one has quite a few different parts. Right. The whole vision about this is something that can be built in under an hour, has under 10 parts. I actually blew that by one piece. It has 11 parts for the core basic structure, and it's just as easy as both those planes to fly. And it is. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh Just my gosh, look how cool this is! Ooh, we're getting oh close. my goodness, there's gonna be some mid airs here. Yeah. <laughs> we might not even get to yeah. these streamers. This combat. is awesome. Yeah. So, big shout out to Chad here. You're gonna notice three of these planes are all <laughs> painted in different schemes that are unique. One's like a, a Carbon Z, the other one's like a classic club, and the other one is a military scheme. Chad did all these uh, very quickly and made them look beautiful. So, we thought he should get the opportunity to at least fly what he's built and painted before. And, Chad, you're still with us, man! Yeah. Dude, this is awesome. Seriously, have you ever flown before? No. <laughs> we had we had a good opportunity, but unfortunately we ran late on our shoots. We couldn't have Josh Scott. And at the last minute I said, Chad, uh, you're our newbie. And Josh Scott, frankly, isn't a newbie anymore. So this is kind of a really good test for us. Yeah, it is. And he's doing fantastic. Really good work, brother. I, I could do this all day. Yeah, same. <laughs> What's the difference? I know mine's four channel. Yeah. So what we love is the whole concept with the tiny trainer was to go from a two to a three to a four channel. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be making these gliders, but what we did want to do is give you the options to go with ailerons later and have a, have a platform that it wouldn't feel awkward. So uh, what we have here is we have some slots and some marks on the wings where even after you're done learning as a three channel, just a couple slices and maybe about 10 minutes, you're ready to fly four channel and even flap around, which is really exciting. Yeah, yeah. that's so cool. Um, <laughs> my cub and TJ's cub as well, we both have flap arounds on ours, which are ailerons that also act as flaps. So when you flip the switch, they both go down together. Now, Josh, yours. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Josh got a long touch right there. <laughs> now, yours does have uh, bombs on it. Yeah, one thing I really hate, especially with speedboat kits, is I hate not filling in every square inch. So, usually, if there's some extra real estate on the actual uh, kits, I'll fill it in with an angle guide or something like that, maybe even a yeah. stand. Uh, in this case, because of the military scheme and the fact that we had two servos on the wings that could be used for four channel, I wanted to do some bomb drops. And uh, they drop really nice. Who, who should we bomb? I want to bomb somebody. Ooh, bomb Chad. He's out there in the field picking his plane up. All right. You ready? Get the pallet. Oh, nice oh. I'm gonna hit you. All right, here comes Steel. Oh, oh, oh that so that close. Was terribly. It's a little bit tough to keep inverted because of the dihedral, yeah. but yeah. I'm rolling out now. Perfect. Yeah. So one of the goals of so this was to, to kind of imitate the, the, the flight characteristics of the Super Cub LP, which I still think is just one of the best you know, entry level models that has ever been made, uh, but also to have a growing factor too. And the bombs actually serve as a double purpose. Yeah, you can have fun as a three channel and drop these bombs, but also it really teaches you to work all your sticks and to, to, to you know, maintain control of the plane, just not let it fly itself, because frankly this will fly itself. Now one other really cool thing about this is we have water resistant foam now, we've kind of become obsessed with water. Uh, so Andres, we actually, in your first battery. week working here, we kind of charged you with making <laughs> some floats, right? Yeah, so we actually designed some floats for these cubs that are as simple to build as the cubs themselves. And we tested them on a few times, they work great, so we'll be coming out with an episode for those soon. Now this is powered from a B-Pack and a thousand milliamp LiPo battery, so you're still capable of, you know, <laughs> close to vertical. You guys can go vertical, I can't you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm yeah, not sure if we have vertical. unlimited, but yeah, I'm, pretty good power. I'm hovering right now. Oh, bugs. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh. Now, is yours good, Chad? Yeah, I think so. Dude, you hit hard! 
That's one thing is when, so your first prototype, yeah, I Pull smashed it to pieces. And we, we were, we went a little crazy with it, put a four cell on it. And uh, yeah, the nose, nose two or three different times. Yeah. But even after I blew the nose apart on like the third crash, a little bit of hot glue and five minutes later it was flying again. I love it. One of the biggest reasons we knew a lot of people would be getting a hobby with this and one single layer of foam just doesn't really cut it. Uh, so what we did is we doubled it up and that's actually what took us from nine pieces of foam, which I was really proud of, to ultimately 11, is we have two doublers in there that really can take a beating. Big loop. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? That was awesome. I don't know what happened. They power Dude, looped into the I'll ground. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened, man. You went nosedive right I, I didn't think you died is what happened. Oh, that airplane's bad. All right, I think I have to land this thing. Oh, that's so funny. Killing the battery here. No! Oh, I tipped it right over. Oh! <laughs> so long story short, I hit hard enough to bust this firewall, but if you look at the nose, it's fine. Do we have any screwdrivers? I think if we loosen this, we can save it. We can keep yeah. flying. Chad, yours yeah. looks great still. So what's really cool here is one of the most frustrating things, as much fun as bombs are, they're a pain to hook up. So what we did is we actually made a longer wire than you need. So then all we need to do to hook it is just bend this little piece back here, and we're on. All right, so we landed, and uh, we thought, let's go ahead and pull out some streamers, have some streamer fun. Ever since we did that MiG-3 episode, yeah. we've been obsessed with streamers. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna do this, and hopefully at Flight Fest East, we're gonna see how many planes with streamers we can get up at once as well, too. Dude, that'd be fun. All right, go, go, go. Let's go. All right, here we go. Take right. off. Here we go. Hey, mine actually flies. <laughs> That's awesome. Why do I need so much Dude, more down trim now? It took off so quick. Mine was off the ground before I... <laughs> yeah, before I even pulled the throttle up, it was gone. I feel like someone's already on my tail. This, honestly, this looks like a screensaver. Yeah, it's like Windows 95 tubes. Dude, mine feels like... I have so many oh, flaps down right now. got one. <laughs> TJ, I'm coming for you. I think Alex is up there trying to cut streamers. Alex, yeah. No! Oh, I got one! <laughs> no! Yeah, My guy's constantly going to the left I now. I got your back, Andrew. Here, I'll I'll you Thanks, off, dude. Andrew. Can you oh. drop a bomb on, on Alex, please? Yeah, you want me to? Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh. No! Oh, my goodness, Alex! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you balanced now? Dude! You know what? Yes, thanks, right, thanks, actually. I'm balanced. <laughs> so that was amazing. Confetti. All right, we got, are we going to drop one on Alex? Is that what you want? Yeah, definitely. He cut both oh, my streamers. Right, oh, too early. I almost got one. Uh, I'm going to go for a high bomb. We should uh, chop Josh's bomb streamer as it's falling. There okay, you go. Let's try. You ready? Oh, you want me to go uh, high then? Are you ready, Alex? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> yeah, ready when you are. Here we go. Here it goes. Ooh. <laughs> He's uh, tried so hard. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch the play. <laughs> Dang it. I'm gonna see how long I can just flat spin this thing down in the ground. This is cool. Oh, uh, it won't flat spin anymore with the streamers. Really. Oh, there we go. Kind of. Alex trying to get my plane. <laughs> He's trying so hard. <laughs> bob and weave! Bob and weave! <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah! Bob's evading here. Is that is that Chad? Yo, yeah, me. who has the aura streamer? Bob. I think that's Bob, right? <laughs> oh, you know, I'm after Chad. Chad, you're doing a good job, buddy. I'm trying my best to stay away. Oh, he got it! Oh, he finally got it. Not as oh, hard. right into this time. Chad got, got it. He has FPV, he's cheating. <laughs> We actually have. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that wasn't nice. I couldn't even see you. I'm still playing. <laughs> my, side my, my battery is literally digging out of my belt. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me take an inspection. Oh, my, my streamer's still oh, you're falling. You're mean. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Dude. You should, you should think about Chad's feelings. He painted these. Tried to kill the plane. <laughs> Dang, dude, that was intense. Oh, man. man. So one cool thing, we do love FPV, and this is a really good trainer. We actually have a little etch line inside the canopy that if during the build process you want to make this FPV, oh. you can actually go ahead 
And cut that out past the board camera. Oh no! Oh no! My battery went out! Stuck in cover! This is free flight! <laughs> Where's it going? It's right there! <laughs> okay, that was a beautiful landing that was right there. Awesome. <laughs> it lost his battery. My battery fell out over there. <laughs> it's all fun and games till somebody takes the plane to the oh, back of the man, head. That was harsh. Well, we know it glides well. Yeah. That was perfectly sure. balanced. It just came right on in. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a lot of fun. And Josh don't have a plane to fly. I know, I'm kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> So if you guys are new to flight test, uh, one of the goals we want to do is use common materials and also reusable electronics to be able to pass from build oh. experience to build experience that also helps you learn. So anything that we design, we put out free plans for. And this is going to be like no different. Uh, we have a great gentleman named Dan Sponholz who writes up for plans that are easy to understand. We also have a wonderful beta builder group that actually goes along and builds the planes and gives yeah. feedback. Also look on uh, Phoenix for free downloads of a lot of our planes that you can actually practice flying before yeah. you even build it. So our goal is to give you the best experience possible, whether it's building, flying, or anywhere in between, and hopefully unleash a little bit more skills in one airframe, like this one. You can have a lot of fun with friends, Absolutely. just like this. Absolutely. And one other thing we really want to do here is we want to give honor to the people that really inspired this design. So look down below for links to the Blue Baby, and also for a link to the Horizon Super Cub LP. It's just a phenomenal product. If you don't want to build, that would be the model we recommend. We also have a really great beginner series where we use that plane pretty much for about 60% of it. Now Flight Fest East is coming up. One thing we're going to be doing is we're going to have a big build event where we're going to build a whole bunch of these where people have never built or flown before and see how many people are getting in the hobby. Can't and wait for the streamer event. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. So if you've never gone to Flight Fest East before, please go ahead and consider doing so. Yeah, please join us. Absolutely. So much fun. Right now, the, uh, the Simple Cub is available in the stores. Also look in the future for variants like the Simple T-Craft, the Simple Aronka, the Simple C-Top. We're going to go ahead and run with this line and try to so see how much fun we can have fun. All right, friends, we want to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.